answers to those four questions. Here's something that's interesting. Anybody that has, for instance, we're selling their stuff on uh, eBay, oh. on Google, on anything on the internet, and they, or you use the money like PayPal, mm -hmm. all transfers of money that will go to an individual will now be recorded back to the government and you will have 1099s. That's a tax statement to show what income that you have. Because there's a lot of money that's been transferred. Now, uh, I have my... I have a state senator that's a friend of mine, and I go with him. And we had a discussion a few weeks ago, and he said in six months, and that was the day he put it on it, he said the United States will, people will not recognize the dollar. Well, you have to contingently plan on all these things occurring, and we don't know the exact timing, but that's what I'm going to tell you. And then again, I have senator friends and bankers friends and intelligent people, and they all are playing the game because it's going so fast right now. I know you're all here because you're interested in what I have to say, but as well as a place, and I'm, you know, I'm, I like Ecuador. Uh, you can reasonably live here compared to other countries. You do have water, you have food, and you have a bunch of people. In fact, you're all around here. You have to admit everybody here is good. Don't you feel good about everybody? <laughs> the energy is up. Well, it's the same people that are being watching the program right now. They'll sit in every day and stumble and say, wait a minute, I have all these people that have showed up from all over the world, which is telling us two things. You are yourself are concerned. The whole world is concerned at some level, except for those people that have been programmed not to think. And most people don't think anymore. They're just being led to slaughter. I, I shared with the, the before I was, my father was in the meatpacking business of the slaughterhouse. And uh, as a kid, uh, I had four brothers, and our job, you know, save money for dad, when we go out and work in the slaughterhouse. And I found out the most stupid animal in the world were sheep. Remember they tell people are sheep? When I would go in and get a load of sheep and bring it up the chute for slaughter, they were so dumb, they would jump over the chute to get up with the ones that were going to get killed. Did you know that? Guess what? American people are in that same situation right now. They have no idea. They said, Big, the government can't be that bad. Well, it's worse. So we have to understand, since it's all in these positions, what they're planning, and that's not good news, but we have to understand there is a reason behind all of it, and even you will have to realize that there's some logic. We can't keep feeding all the people. And nobody will listen to the rule book in order to change it. We keep propagating by fun, make the uh, Sex of Sport Act, rather than the responsibility in the creation of the new human being. And we have them and they're just, they don't even care, they're disposable beings as they come out. So society's mental thing has to change for the future, frankly. And that's what we're looking at at this minute. We also have to work, like, this is a, what I call an assortment of different people. We all have to get together. What if you all got together in some little community yourself, just the way you are? And now, we sit down and we assign jobs to each person by their talent in order to assist putting together something. And it's a group thing. It's not individual. We don't need to have, you may have a collective group of people. I prefer to have a scientist up on top to look at it because you have to remember the four rules in the handbook. What you put together, the intent of it, you have to allow the intent to manifest itself. That's the allowance. It has to be, the end result of all that, it has to be in balance with the nature and within the surroundings. And this is going to be a hard job. And the, remember the ego situation and the greed thing has to be taken out of the picture because we're not going to have money to play with anyway. And it isn't my, my house is bigger than yours. Remember that the handbook comes out until it says, basically, that man was meant to live in abundance, not luxury. Because by using luxury, you've taken away somebody else around the planet. Well, God, it's all, yeah. how many people in here have been to Haiti? Well, if you've been to Port-au-Prince and you've gone out and seen all that stuff, these people are living on less than a dollar a day. I mean, I flew with the uh, vice president of Haynes Corporation. We went down to, uh, to uh, Costa Rica. And he's discussing shutting down all of his plants that make all of the, you know, the underwear. And I said, where are you going with him? He said, we're moving to Haiti. Why? What's the definition of people? 
human resource. Mm -hmm. So on the bottom line, the human resource is part of the thing you're looking at. Does it make any sense to you? I'm trying to, oh, yeah. everything logically, everything is logical. As the ETs have told me a long time ago, we may be mysterious, don't make it mystical. The universe is logical. So you've got to work the logic and say what's going on and look at identifying and say, uh, we got plenty of free energy, what's running this planet? The sun. It's, it, and it's manifest in everything there is. It's the conversion back that does, and will not affect society as a rule in order to keep things going. Well, I'm totally aware of what they're going to do reducing the population down. I mean, you know, 20 million Americans is what we were talking about being left of this whole thing. None, nobody in the major cities. I can't tell you about the rest of the world, but I can tell you the whole economic thing is coming down in spades. I was just talking to somebody at lunch, and they were talking about buying a bond in, in was it the UK? And in four months, it lost 30% of its value. 30%, he thought he was saving, you know, preserving his money. So I'm, I'm telling, but again, historically, I'm telling people at this minute that the only thing that makes any sense on a world basis is having the base metals, and that's your gold and silver. So acquire some. <coughs> Don't if you can do it, do it without having anybody knowing. World War Three is coming up. It's coming in the second quarter. Is the, the whole world? It's a whole world war because we're the most hated country now. So looking at that information, I, I talked to my buddies, in, the head of FEMA in Arizona, down in Phoenix, and he said, we're preparing for this. We're going to set up uh, 10 cities along the border. We're not capable of taking care of the Californians. They can't get out anyway, but they're going to allow 100,000 people into Arizona. And I said, well, that means, how are you going to stop them? He said, we'll be setting up 10 cities. And the uh, ultimate plan is they're going to have passports between states. I'm just telling you what's planned. These guys are doing, and of course you're not involved in it, and they're not going to put it in the papers because that's part of the, quote, that fear factor, but I'm just, not a fear factor, this is just a well organized from a scientific standpoint. How do you manage people that are in total chaos? Who, who, who are you talking about when you say they, these guys, what is that? Well, <laughs> let, let me, <laughs> you don't know me, Joe, too much, but I was asked to be the finance chairman for the election of Jimmy Carter. And I was running around with a group of people that are planning on taking over the world. I said in the meetings on their goal, Jimmy Carter put it in writing, every senator and everything, it's called the Global 2000 Agenda. There, in 2000 is when they started the hitting Iraq. They're behind schedule. They thought the, the nations over there would start the war. And you watch the next little bit, it'll begin in Israel. Israel is the number one target. And it probably that will start very shortly. Russia then will in tune. They got 22,000 new warheads. All aimed at their enemy, the which is good. Having interviewed a lot of people. Okay. okay. They have three Wait, nuclear who's submarines. Who's enemy is who's enemy? Russia has three nuclear submarines on the west coast. There are two football fields on lake, five stories tall. They're capable of doing 80 miles an hour underneath the water, totally undetected. Off, off, our off, west coast. off of our west coast and our east coast. <coughs> so. U.S. is Russia's enemy. Yes. Why? Because we have consumed the world and we went in all these other countries and we've tried to rule the world. Mm -hmm. The game's over. The game is over. We're not ruling the world. People are saying, I won't do it. So this is part of the plan. You just, your job now is to get up to speed. That's the, look at the information they put on Camelot. They've got all of the different people that are out lecturing that know some of the information. I just have to set in with the guys that are planning on killing you, frankly. <laughs> so did you like the seminar? Yeah, I liked it. It was uh, appealing, highly instructive, and slightly deceiving, but good. Mm -hmm.